this plant here is the number one jamaican fertility herb but did you know that it also has a lot of benefits for the men stay tuned we're going to be focusing in depth on the jamaican inflammation herb now a lot of jamaican women who could not conceive will share their story and tell you that after them drink disabusha they were able to bring forth that bouncing baby boy or girl successfully so the inflammation weed or inflammation herb it grows wildly in sandy or loamy conditions and it really thrives in dry conditions as well it is commonly called dog blood bush or dog blood herb inflammation weed as we said before pigeon berry blood berry or baby bush but the botanical name for this plant here is ravina humilis this popular Jamaican female herb is used to treat fertility issues, dysmenorrhea or painful periods, irregular periods, womb cysts, fibroids, and what we call sometimes blocked tubes. Now besides these uses, the inflammation weed or the inflammation herb, and I mean every part of it from the blossoms, the fruits, the leaves, the stems, and the roots, these are used to treat skin conditions such as eczema and rashes. It is also used to treat headaches and to manage very mild pain. So really not excruciating pain but mild pain. Now for the men, the inflammation weed or inflammation herb is said to increase the sperm count and also it prevents the enlargement of the prostate. So we're going to be getting into how this is used and the thing is, as we said, this is inflammation herb. So already we know that it is anti-inflammatory. So how we use it? So we basically brew a tea with this. And I mean like all parts of the plant. However, you have to ensure that it is first dried. Or at least make it quail for about 3 days or so. And so our four parents used to let it boil and cool down and consume like a cup or so per day. But one thing though, they never had refrigerators and so they would allow it to sit at room temperature or by them fireside and so it would start to ferment. And that way, you know, you were getting it very powerful. However, nowadays, you know, people are afraid of bacteria and fungus and all kind of things. And so we will make the tea and we'll store it in our refrigerator. So it will have some effects but not as effective as when our four parents used to make it and make it ferment now the second way that this is used is that it is boiled for about three to five minutes and i know some persons will say that you don't boil herbs but we're going to do an experiment on that not too long from now i will do a video where i'm going to be doing an experiment on whether or not you must boil your herb or dry your herb and when to boil the herb and when to dry it all right but anyway so the second way is that you know you allow it to boil for about three to five minutes and then you can do a hot sit or what is now called a vaginal steam with it now the steaming helps to shrink the fibroids and it also reduces the likelihood of period pains and generally a steaming or a vaginal steam using these kinds of herbs improves circulation in the reproductive area now how we use this for rashes for rashes and other skin conditions the leaves are usually pounded and then we extract the fresh green juice from it and we just dab this onto the affected area or onto the rashes until they disappear and sometimes as well the inflammation weed it is pounded along with the king of the forest or the cerasi and that can also be applied to the skin now who mainly uses this herb like i said before the men rarely use it but it is good for the men so basically everybody can use it however please it's not given to toddlers so i should say with the exception of toddlers so the inflammation herb is used by both men and women alike however it is usually consumed by women who long to nurture their own baby so you know you want your own baby you drink this and trust me all the inflammation from the womb is gone now also what our four parents used to do so a mother and a granny them usually boil the tea for us and after you finish breastfeeding they would feed it to us or feed it to you know the the person who 
just gave birth and this is said or them said this give you a clean out so you know all of that waste from the pregnancy and so on that may be lying around in the system the inflammation weed is said to give you that kind of purge so for the full effects of this herb unlike any other herb it is best reaped at moonshine before daybreak however if you reap it at any other time you are still going to experience the amazing benefits of the inflammation herb now like with anything else you have the good and the bad so we're going to be talking a little bit about the precautions of using the inflammation herb now you want to stay away from the inflammation weed if you are pregnant lactating or you are on your monthly cycle why because the effects of the herb on the womb you know the plant can cause contraction of the uterus and this could result in miscarriage and also deformity in the baby if you take it while you're pregnant now the plant contains some other compounds as well that will inhibit the development of babies and so this is why our four parents they actually wait until you know you finish breastfeeding before they give this to you and so usually it is best taken internally when you're done breastfeeding and finally if you take this herb while you are on your period or on your monthly cycle it could cause excessive bleeding and so that is why it is not recommended for you to take this during your period but you take it before or after now i shared a video on the channel of my own experience with this plant so ensure that you check it out you know that is my personal testimony um so if you have not already checked that out please go ahead and check it out um you know i paired this with two other herbs and this the rest is history now i also have a video where i illustrate how you fuse this and the other two herbs so be sure to check out that video as well i am fzeba if you make it this far into the video i thank you very much for watching and if you have not already subscribed to the channel please don't wait no longer i may have some powerful stuff to share with you please hit that subscribe button and if you come here all the time or you come here some of the times please remember to hit your notification bell so that you can get the notifications now that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one